Hey, Super from Bromancer, welcome back to... I almost said Halo 3. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. We're starting Chapter 5. Now this is... this is probably the first... The first long chapter. Because I just remember there are a lot of enemies. And if I'm gonna get the unit that's on here, I'm gonna have to... Be sort of careful I don't accidentally kill him. Because he's technically on the enemy's on the enemy's side. Which is bad for me. There he is. This is Joshua. Maybe next time, Josh. So that's Glenn. He's one of the generals of- I, I'm pretty sure we talked about this. He's a, one of the generals of Grado, and he's a pretty honorable dude. He's a good guy. And that's his bro. His, his brother's... Okay, okay. First, the first dude has a normal name like Glenn. Like, I've, no, I've known a few Glens in my life. But... I've never in my life met a Cormag. What the fuck? Oh shit. So now finally, we also fight people that are more than just axe users. Like, there's... archers and their soldiers there, also. Okay, this is Natasha. She's pretty cool. She's a, she's a healer. I don't know, healers are tough to train in these games. Just because they just can't get experience nearly as fast as other characters. So... I don't know. I'm gonna- I've got Mulder as a healer. Eventually I'm gonna have Ardor upgraded as a healer as well. I think that I'm just gonna 
not use her a lot. There's no reason to have, like, too many healers. And especially a healer that can also attack is a pretty good unit. <sighs> but the question is now, who am I going to leave behind? Definitely going to take Garcia. He needs another hand axe. Luckily I have one. Uh, fuck. Can you buy another tome? Can. Alright, that should do it. Save it up. Fight it out. Oh yeah, there's also an arena here, which I could theoretically use or abuse to train my units, but it's such a waste of time in this game. And it's too risky, so we're just gonna disregard that. So what I gotta do is take little Vanessa here, you know, the healer with two defense and 18 life, have her talk to Joshua here, then he'll, he'll join up. Joshua is one of my favorite units just because he's a cool dude and he uses a sword and I just think sword wielding units are just awesome, I don't know, don't know how else to say it. Yeah, a lot of guys, lots of assholes. See, here's, like, even a mercenary. How am I gonna do this? Alright, well, how much, how much defense? Is six? Hmm. Let's do it like this. And uh, what I want to try and do is, like, split my units up so they can cover, like, each of these pathways. And then basically use those turns to, uh, sort of just take the brunt of the enemy's assault. And once they've kind of broken themselves against me, then we just move forward and clean them out one at a time. Because they start advancing right away. Don't, don't, don't bow me. Bow, bow bitch. Oh, yeah. Uh, bandits will do the same thing to houses as they would to villages. Are you gonna give me something or not? Yeah, I'll take him. Dragon shield. Dragon Shield will increase the defense of one of my units. Should probably give it to Erica, but I'm probably gonna end up giving it to Vanessa. No, she's got six. I might give it to Franz. He's got six also. Hit him. Yes. My dude. Not bad. See, the trade-off for fighters is they have a lot of health, but they don't have a lot of defense. So they can they take they can take a lot of dam or they take a lot of damage, but they have a lot of health to lose. Eventually, they'll like as they especially after they switch classes and they get promoted, they'll be a lot more rounded out. That is the third crit Arter has gotten. He's just a crit machine. I'm the crit master. Get him! Yes. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. <sighs> Bandits. 
You do nothing but disappoint me. Don't miss, Vanessa. Fuck. Watch out for that. <laughs> Watch out for that archer, too. Yeah. Nice. Good dodge. Hmm. I can't let that archer get a shot on Vanessa. It's too dangerous. I also shouldn't let him get a shot on... Fuck. I shouldn't let him get a shot on, a. Uh... Natasha, either. That's just... That's just asking for trouble. Send friends around this way. And these two around this way, also. God damn it, Gilliam. So slow. Nice. You can do it, friends. That's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was close. If she had been doubled there, I would have been sad. But it all works out. See, now, Vanessa, it's still an easy kill. All I had to do was put this young woman's life in danger. Could be better. God damn it. Come on. You can do it, Nick. Let's go ahead and use Erica to draw out that other guy. <laughs> look at the- okay. Look at the low-resolution, uh, portrait for Ardor. Doesn't he look kind of happy? He's got like a little corner of his mouth upturned. He's like, Hey, up? Level U6. Six. six. Yeah, go ahead and take it, Garcia. Swag. Swag Daddy. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Hmm. I think that we're okay. I was really hoping he'd. Oh, that was too far back. Fuck. It doesn't look like anyone else has anything interesting. Like, you sort of have to be kind of careful, because this game likes to sneak units, enemy units that have, like, anti-cavalry weapons or... Like, uh, reverse weapons that reverse the triangle, or like, critical hit weapons with increased critical hit chance, just to basically punish you for your arrogance. Seth, go see what's up in that house. I used to know a guy named Seth, I went to college with him. He was a total stoner. He wasn't anything like this Seth. That doesn't- that doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I just thought about it. Armor Slayer. <sighs> Fuck, I'm dumb. D-U-M dumb. 
Okay, so her range is five, right? So I should be able to put her just outside of his range and go and do the do the talk. <clears throat> However, he then will probably have to turn right around and go and kill that soldier. Because otherwise, the soldier's gonna swing in and kill her. And no nobody wants that. Oh, fuck. Those are some guys. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. What are we gonna do about this? Well, let's, maybe let's do it like this. Hmm. Vanessa probably can't kill those bandits without taking too much damage, since she's a lance user, fortunately. One. I always use this fucking analog stick and it's so stupid. Should just use the D-pad. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to like get out of Joshua's range to the left. Oh, what? She can't even touch shit. She can't even reach him because of that fucking forest. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a plan. I think I can... Oh, no, I don't think I can. No, I can't, can't quite make it. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to sacrifice that house. Gilliam, you are just a constant annoyance to me. Bitch, she left her torch behind. Who does that? Might as well hit up the armory. Um, I don't know. I don't want to buy anything. It's not like we can't just buy it from the fuck from the uh, the map anyway. She's more. God. Okay. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? One, two, three, four, five. Attack. One, two... Or, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Sh okay. Joshua... If Joshua gets a chance, I believe he would absolutely one-shot Natasha. I can't believe that anything different would happen. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do because of that. I don't really want anyone else to kill him. You know what? Okay, I think what'll happen is I think I'll get rid of those bandits. Then we'll just after that, at that point just take a risk. So 
so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put her inside the forest. That'll give her an extra defense and 42 total avoid. That might be enough to keep Joshua from killing her. Maybe. Because you can't get close enough to just talk to him. There's also the chance that he's just gonna walk straight down and talk to her and not try and kill her. If that happens, I'm gonna be a little upset, mostly with myself. There's also the chance he just won't even move. If he does that, I'll be a little bit upset with myself also. The thing is though, unless you remember or look it up, you don't have any way of knowing. Uh, well... Alright, we get a new friend. I'm fucking... I'm dumb. I'm just dumb. I love Joshua. What is it? It's Tails. Yeah. Now we've got a new friend. <laughs> Go, Josh. Josh was absolutely a baller. L look at that guy. Look at those stats. 13 skill, 14 speed, at level 5. It's insanity. Well, now this map is looking a whole lot better. <laughs> and... Secret Book. Secret Book will increase the skill of one of my units. Don't know who's gonna get that. Don't have any idea. Go, friends! You've been pretty good so far, friends. Strength, skill and speed, the three S's, offense, not bad. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna give. What level is he? Five? I'm gonna give the Armor Slayer to Joshua. I'm going to send you out here to draw out that, that soldier. There's only one dude left. It's general time, baby. All right. Oh, they even they even gave us a forest. Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. Yeah. What you gonna get, Josh? Yeah. Could be better. Ah, oh, good job, team.
So this is the point where uh, the stories like start to slip from uh, like few, like uh, warring countries to the supernatural demon esque type deal, and that's just I don't know basic fare for uh, a Fire Emblem game. Hey, Guiding Ring. Guiding Ring will promote a May magic user to their next level. Okay, so here... Okay, well, actually, we're gonna do it in the next episode, right? I've actually gotta... What's the button? I actually gotta stop it here, because otherwise we're gonna lose out on plot. So, in the next episode, we're gonna do a very special level. I think y'all are gonna enjoy it. So this has been Nick from Bromancer, as always. Thanks for watching. See you next time.